Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. If you are not yet subscribed to this channel, feel free to click the subscribe button and the notification bell for more updates. So in this video guys, we are going to discuss about the distance from a point to a line and the distance between parallel lines. So in this first problem, we have what is the distance from the point 2, 1 to the line 4x minus 3y plus 5 equals 0. So ito guys, na plot na natin siya. So you have 4x minus 3y plus 5 equals 0. And we are required to find the distance between this point 2, 1 to the line 4x minus 3y plus 5. So in this first solution, we are going to solve this using the analysis from the figure. Now we have plot the points here, the x and y intercept. And connecting those points produce the y 4x minus 3y plus 5 equals 0. The first step in finding the distance using the solution is find the equation of the line which is tangent to 4x minus 3y plus 5 that passes through the given point 2, 1. Then, the second step is to find that intersection here. The last step is to find the distance between those two points using the distance formula. So that's it. You have three steps in solving this problem using this type of solution. Now, kuhin muna natin yung equation nitong line which is the perpendicular or tangent to this given line. So, the equation of the line, here you have 4x you have minus 3y plus 5 equals 0. So, naplot natin siya dito using so, ilet lang natin yung y as 0. Makuha natin yung x here. Ilet natin yung x as 0. Makuha natin yung y here, this point. So, i-connect natin yung dalawa. You have the line. Now, gawin muna natin itong in the form of y is equal to mx plus b. Dapat in the form of y equals mx plus b. So, you have 3y equals 4x plus 5. So, divide both sides by 3. You have y equals, so you have 4 thirds x plus 5. So, the slope of this line is 4 thirds. Now, the slope of this tangent line here is the negative reciprocal of the given slope nung line. So, you have the, the slope of the tangent line equals the negative reciprocal of the line from which it is perpendicular. So, equal. So, negative 1 over, you have 4 thirds. Or, you have negative 3 fourths. Now, meron na tayong slope. The new equation ng line, may given slope tayo. Then, you have the point. So, point slope form. You have y minus y1 equals m times x minus x sub 1. You have the coordinates here, 2 and 1. So, y minus y1 is, so 1, so equals m natin, slope negative 3 fourths times x minus x1 natin, you have this 2. Now, we have the equation of the tangent line. You have here equation 1 and equation 2. The line here, and this line, the equation of this perpendicular line is this equation 2. Solving these two simultaneously, we can get the intersection here. The point of intersection of these two lines. So here from equation 2, you have... From 2, we have y equals... You have negative 3 fourths times x minus 2. So you have plus 1. So itong y... From equation 2, is substitute lang natin siya to equation 1. So, you have 4x minus 3 times the quantity, you have negative 3 fourths times quantity x minus 2 plus 1. So, parenthesis. So, plus 5 equals 0. So, we shift solve natin siya. So, 4 alpha x minus 3 times you have negative 3 fourths times quantity. You have alpha x minus 2 plus 1. So, parenthesis.
plus 5, so alpha equals 0. So, i-check natin kung parehas. 4x minus 3 times quantity. You have x minus 2 plus 1 plus 5. Now, you have shift, so equals. So, you have x as 0.4 x is 0.4. So, y is, so, pwede natin gamitin, it's either equation 1 or 2. So, equation 1 na lang. So, from equation 1, you have 4x minus 3y plus 5 equals 0. So, substitute natin yung x. So, 4 times 0 0.4 minus 3y plus 5 equal 0. So, we shift solve natin. We have 4 0.4 minus 3 y is 5. So, alpha equals 0. So, shift solve. We have y as 2.2. .2. So, yung coordinate natin or yung intersection is this point is you have 0.4 and 2.2 .2. so the intersection is 0 0.4 and 2.2 .2. so this is the intersection now third step na tayo, last step po na natin yung distance between this intersection here and the point here distance formula na so step 3 so, yung two points natin is, you have 2, 1, and you have 0 0.4, 2.2. So, this 2, 1 and given point, then yung 0 0.4, 2.2 is the intersection here. So, yung distance, so yun yung distance between this line and this point. So, the distance equals, you have the square root of, you have x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared, plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared. So, you have d equals to the square root of x sub 2. So, it's either. So, x na lang. Ito na lang. 2 minus, you have 0.4 squared plus you have 1 minus 2.2 .2 squared. So, d equals so the distance equals so the square root of 2 minus So, you have 2 units. So, 2 ang distance between this point and this line. So, that is 2. So, yung distance natin guys is palagi siyang positive. Now, yung second solution is using the formula. So, meron tayong formula ang ginagamit. So, yung formula natin guys is given by, so the distance equals, you have A, X sub 1, plus B, y sub 1 plus c all over, you have the square root of a squared plus b squared. So, yung x1 and y1 to in the formula is your point here. So, yung a, the coefficient ng x, yung b, the coefficient of y, and yung c, it constant. So, the distance equal, so a natin is 4 times, so x, so 2, plus b natin is negative 3, here then yung y1 is, so 1 plus c natin is 5, all over so square root so a squared, so that is 4 squared plus b, so negative 3 squared so, yung distance natin guys is kung mag negative man siya, coin lang natin yung absolute value. So, ang distance is palagi siyang positive. All over square root, uh, square root of 4 squared plus negative 3 squared. So, guys, yan. 2 din yung kanyang answer. So, you, you can choose from either two solutions. So, I recommend yung itong formula na lang. So, here we have 3x plus 4y equals 5 and the origin. So, yung inanap natin is distance from the origin to the line 3x plus 4y equals 5. Now, pwede natin gamitin yung formula. 
x natin is 0. So, plus, yung b natin is 4. Yung y natin is 0. So, c natin is negative 5. All over, we have the square root of a squared plus b squared. So, 3 squared plus 4 squared. So, d equals, the distance is, you have negative 1. So, absolute value guys, 1 lang. 1 yung distance. So, yung negative 1 dito, it means that yung point natin is nasa baba nung line. But the distance will always be a positive value. So, in this next problem, guys, we have the distance between two parallel lines. Find the distance between the lines 2y minus 3x minus 4 equals 0 and 2y minus 3x minus 8 equals 0. So, ito na yung na-plot natin point, guys. So, same process. Kung plotting the points, you let x is 0, makuha mo yung y-intercept, you let y is 0, kuha mo yung x-intercept, then you put, just connect the two points. You have this uh, graph. So, pwede lang natin guys mahanap yung distance between lines kung silang dalawa ay parallel. And an indication na parallel sila is dapat equal yung slope. So, i-verify natin dapat equal slope. So, dapat ang form is y is equal to mx plus. So, in this first equation, you have 2y minus 3x minus 4. So, you have y equals so 3x plus 4 so yung second uh, 2y equals 3x plus 4 yung second equation you have 2y equals 3x plus 8 so this will reduce to you have y equals 3 half x plus 4 y equals so 3 half x Plus 8. So, parehas silang 3 halves yung slope. So, it means that this is parallel. Now, finding the distance, yung first solution natin is analysis ulit tayo sa figure. Now, ito, we have this distance. So, yung distance natin is parehas silang perpendicular dito sa dalawang line. Then, let's say, ito, meron tayo na form na triangle. So, ito, this is a right triangle. So, extract natin yung triangle, guys. So, ito, this triangle yung nanggaling siya dito guys. Ito, itong triangle na to. So, you have here, itong point na to, this is negative 1.33. So, nakuha natin yun using this equation. So, this is negative 1.33. So, this point is, we have two, negative 2.67. Now, yung angle dito, we can find this using trigonometry. So, yung angle dito is tangent theta equals yung, of course, yung slope niya. So, na-discuss natin to in the previous discussion, yung pinakaunang video natin for analytic geometry. So, tangent theta equals m and ang slope niya is, you have, yung kanina, that is 3 halves. So, theta will be arctanong 3 halves. So, this is, so, ang angle natin, guys, is 56.31 degrees. Now, meron na tayong angle. So, meron tayo ditong, ito yung ating hypotenuse. So, yung hypotenuse natin is negative 1.33 minus negative 2.77. So, kunin natin yung length ng hypotenuse natin. So, ito, let's say L. So, yung L natin is, you have negative 1.33 minus negative 2.67. So, pwede natin makuha yung distance niya, automatic kasi siya ay straight line lang. So, you have 1.34. Now, may length na tayo dito. This is 1.34. Now, we can find the distance. Meron tayong angle. This is 56.34. 31 degrees. So, that is sine of theta. So, sine theta, you have sine, angle theta is equal to your opposite, which is D, all over the hypotenuse L. So, L natin is 1.34. So, sine theta natin is 56.31 degrees. So, D equals so you have 
1.34 times sine 56.31 degrees. So, calculator natin guys. So, 1.34 times sine 56.31 degrees. We have 1.1. So, that is 1. Point, so, 1.1 ang kanyang distance. Now, yung ating second solution is of course using the formula. So, yun ang pinakamadaling approach guys is yung formula na given na siya. So, direct substitution. So, ano ba yung formula natin yung nagagamitin? So, if you are given two uh, parallel lines, yung formula natin for distance is equal to we have C2 minus C1 all over you have the square root of a squared plus b squared. So, the distance equals so, ganun lang ulit guys, yung distance natin is always positive. So, yan ba yung C2 natin? So, let's say, oh, it's either the 2. So, yung dito, yung C2 natin is kahit yung 8 or 4, whichever. So, let's say 8. So, negative 8. So, negative 8 minus you have C1 is, you have negative 4. All over, you have the square root of A squared plus B squared. So, ang A natin is, paras lang naman yun. So, 2 for A, or it's either uh, 3. So, let's say 3 na lang. 3, negative 3 for X squared plus yung B natin. So, for Y, that is 2. 2 squared. So, ang D natin is, you have negative 8 minus negative 4 all over the square root of negative 3 squared plus 2 squared. So, ito. So, you have negative 1 point, almost 1.1 1 .1 na siya. So, ito yung pinakasap ko guys. Kasi dito, sa so first solution, meron tayong rounding off. So, ito. This is the exact value. You have negative 1.1. 1 .1. So, Approximately 1.11 siya. So, that's it guys. So, if you are learning from this topics or this channel, so feel free to click the subscribe and the notification bell for more updates. So, see you guys. So, thank you for watching.